guys. I hope you are all doing awesome and amazing things. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. And for those of you who are new, hey, I'm Miranda. I am here to help you have the most magical vacation to Walt Disney World that you possibly can. Now today we are going to be talking about magic bands. If you don't know what a magic band is, well, I am about to drop some knowledge because it is a huge part of your vacation to the Walt Disney World Resort. So grab some popcorn, sit back, relax. I don't know. Here we go. is a magic band. Well, a magic band is part of the My Magic Plus planning experience that Walt Disney World rolled out a few years ago that basically technologifies, technologifies, is that a word? Survey says? I don't know. But it's an all-in-one wristlet device, bracelet, that connects you to your vacation through My Disney Experience which is your online planning tool for your Walt Disney World vacation. So how does it work? Well, your magic band contains radio frequency identification in a chip. Now it's a puck, this little middle puck. It contains radio frequency identification to help access all of your plans. It uses like an antenna, I guess, to connect you to your My Disney Experience account and uses that radio frequency to access for, throughout the Walt Disney World property. That's super cool. So these bands are rubber and they are waterproof. So that means you can wear it anytime and anywhere. My, pr my printer just started doing weird things and I am not printing anything, nor is anyone else home. Anyway, focus. Make it stop. So basically your magic band can read your information from My Disney Experience, all of your vacation choices, and you make it accessible from your wrist. So exactly what kind of info does it access, you're asking? On your My Disney Experience app, you can purchase your park tickets, which then automatically links to your magic band. Also, if you buy tickets for events such as Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party or Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, those tickets can also be accessed through your magic band. Also, you know if you're planning in advance that you can make your FastPass Plus reservations online through My Disney Experience. And then you access them through here. So when you're going through the FastPass line, you just tap and go. And you can also experience your PhotoPass photos through your magic band and your My Disney Experience. After you take your photo with the PhotoPass photographer in the park, they ask to scan your magic band, and then all of a sudden it shows up on your My Disney Experience account. Super neat. So those are accessible for anybody with a Magic Band and a My Disney Experience account. But if you are staying on Walt Disney World property, you get a couple extra touches of magic. When you first land at Orlando International Airport and you're taking the Magical Express to your resort, your Magic Band is your ticket onto the Magical Express. So when you go up to the Magical Express, ready to, ready to board, I guess, you just, <laughs> You tap your magic band and it can pull up your account right there. So that way the cast member there knows what resort you're going to and they can get you on the Magical Express right away. When you're staying on Walt Disney World property, your magic band also acts as your room key. So there's instead of a little swipe card where you like insert the card, it is now your magic band. Well, it is now. Please note that this video is being made October 9th, 2017 and technology is coming up fast. So who knows, in like five months, it may be your phone. But right now, as of this video, you access your room key through your magic band. And then another thing you can do staying on Walt Disney World property is hook up a credit card or debit card to your resort reservation. You can choose to set up a debit card or credit card to your My Disney Experience account and actually make purchases on your magic band. So you give them the card that you want to set up to your My Disney Experience, and then they'll ask you to create a PIN number, just like a debit card. So when you do make purchases around the Walt Disney World Resort, you will tap your Magic Band and then enter your PIN number, 
and it charges it to your room. So instead of all these different little receipts and charges on your card, you just get one huge one at the end. <laughs> I don't know what's better. It's convenient. I'll get you that. Very convenient. Also, when you're wearing your Magic Band around Walt Disney World Resort in certain attractions, you may feel a little extra magic. For example, I'm from Iowa, okay? I think you all know that. If you don't, I'm from Iowa. But I was riding the Haunted Mansion like a year ago. And when the hitchhiking ghost was in my doom buggy, he, bucky, is that what I said? Doom buggy. He held up a sign and it said, off to Iowa. <laughs> and I was like, what? We're going to Iowa. Or sometimes, like, for example, at the end of It's a Small World, it says goodbye to you. It all depends on what um, radio frequency the Magic Pants pick up. It may be you sometimes, it may not be you, but definitely take a look at the signage around attractions. Maybe those rock and roll posters and rock and roller coaster may have a special musician. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's just a way uh, Walt Disney World is figuring out how to do something special with their magic bands and giving that extra special touch for a little magic here and there. So how do you get a magic band? Well, they are available for purchase on the Shop Disney Parks app and around Walt Disney World Resort. And note that it is only Walt Disney World Resort. Nowhere, no other Disney park has the My Magic Plus or the Magic Bands yet. Um, Walt Disney World is the only one with this sort of technology at this moment in time. So you can buy one. Normally the colors are like $12 or $13, pretty cheap. But if you are an annual pass holder or a Walt Disney World Resort guest, you get a Magic Band for free. So you can customize your Magic Band about a month in advance of the date you leave for your trip and it gets sent to your house. If you do customize it early for staying on property or annual pass holders, you do get to customize it with your name on the inside. So if you have a family and all of you want red, you can customize it with the name on the inside. You can also pick colors. So the color options are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, gray. Those are the options that you get for free. But around the Walt Disney World Resort, there are plenty of other super cool customized magic bands that are up for sale. Also, for example, these are the new magic bands. There was a design earlier that looked a little thinner. This one is a lot easier to work with. It's a lot flatter. It reads better on the system. And I didn't like them at first because they were a little chunkier, but they are still really lightweight and they're perfectly fine. So this was the old style, this is the new style. And you can get them all different, like I said, in the parks. For example, I love my Dooney and Burke magic band that goes with my sketchbook backpack and my sketchbook weekender. I did get the new, the new style Dooney and Burke, and that's what I was gonna talk about in this video, but I cannot find it anywhere. And I just got back a week ago and I'm really nervous that I lost it. So magic bands like this do cost a little bit more since they are the designer Dooney and Burke, but you can also customize regular colored magic bands. Um, there are kiosks around the parks where you can design your own. So this one I got yellow and I did a Beauty and the Beast uh, stained glass on it. So you can either customize your own at different places. Um, I know there's one at Disney Springs. There's also one at like the Tomorrowland merch shop, or, or yeah, right after you get off Space Mountain, the Space Mountain merchandise shop, you can do it there. But then you can also purchase them on your own. I know there's like a teal one with Elsa on it. There's a purple Haunted Mansion one. There's a mini red and white polka dot one. Also what is super cool about the new chunkier magic bands is that the puck in the middle is removable. So you can take out a little screwdriver and screw out the puck on the out from the magic band and you can put it wherever you want. But do be careful because the puck is what holds all of your information. So I got this little magic keeper. It's a keychain and you can put the puck inside of it and put it on your backpack, on a lanyard, whatever. So if you don't want to wear it on your wrist, you can easily do that. And lots of small shops around make really cool magic band puck holders. I recently just saw one floating around that 
it's a puck holder that you can put on your Apple Watch. So it slides on the band of your Apple Watch and that way you don't have to wear your Apple Watch and your magic band, you can just wear all the same. I thought that was pretty neat. But anyway, so they're just coming up with very innovative ideas for you not to have to wear it on your wrist. Um, you can carry it in your backpack, on your lanyard, however you feel fit. So Winnie wants to know, how do you get it to work in the parks? Well, as you see, there is a perfectly facing Mickey on your magic band. And the little kiosks have a Mickey. So they always say, Mickey to Mickey. So you just touch it flat up against it, and it will turn hopefully green. <laughs> if you're early for your fast pass or if it's not working, it's like a light blue, but hopefully it turns green. Usually it is just a Mickey to Mickey and you are good to go, except for the following. Upon entering into the parks, you do Mickey to Mickey and then you also use fingerprint identification to make sure that you are you. So if you've never experienced My Magic Plus and using a magic band entering the park, the very first time you enter the park, you, you touch your magic band and then you can pick a finger that you would like to scan. And make sure you really like that finger because you are going to be scanning it forever. For so long. <laughs> so I always do my right pointer finger. So I will scan, tap my magic band, and then put my finger. And that is when you are good to go. Another thing is when you make your purchases with your magic band, if you are staying on Walt Disney World Resort property, then you tap your magic band, Mickey to Mickey, and you put in your four digit pin. And then also, if you are making any alcoholic adult beverage purchases, you can make your purchases doing your tap and your credit card, but then you will also need to show your ID. Also, if you have discounts like annual pass holder discounts or DVC discounts, you will have to show your card and your identification there. I wish they did have like one more step where once I tapped it, they could be like, yep, she's an annual pass holder, cool. Another thing to note is that magic bands are reusable. So if you go to my Disney Experience account and look at my magic band section, you will see that I have a lot. I have a ton. I, I don't even know what I do with that many. But all of them are currently active on my account. I have not deactivated any of my magic bands. And there is no on off switch. So unless you go onto your my Disney Experience account and deactivate your magic band, you can still use it. So if you have three different colored magic bands and you want to bring them all on your vacation and maybe switch them up with outfits, hint, hint, that's what I do, you can absolutely do so. If you ever lose your magic band, you can easily go onto your My Disney Experience account and deactivate it there. That way you're protected. I know I had somebody say that if you lose your magic band, you're fine. Nobody's gonna guess your pin. Nobody's gonna guess blah, blah, blah. Well your information is still linked on there. So like a debit card, even though they don't have your debit number, your pin number, you should probably still deactivate it because they could guess, they could go up to, they could go up to a fast pass kiosk and see when your fast passes are and use your fast passes. It's just, there are plenty of things that could go wrong. So if you do lose your magic band, just deactivate it on your account. What some people don't know is that if you have smaller children, you can adjust the size of the magic band. So the magic band comes with tons of different holes. Obviously, if you have really small kids, you're probably gonna be up very close. Well, as you can see, there is an outer gray rim. You can actually peel off the rubber. I'm not going to because I eat a lot of salt, so my wrists can bloat out there. <laughs> um, you can peel off the inside of the magic band to make it smaller for your children. So that is basically all of the information that you need about the magic band and my magic plus to help you with your vacation. And I know all of this information may be super overwhelming because let's face it, Walt Disney World keeps changing and growing and we have to keep up. But if you never want to do that and you just want the ease of a vacation, remember to hire a travel agent and they will do everything for you. You wouldn't even have to, you can just tell the travel agent what color you want your magic band to do and they do it all for you. They make your fast passes, everything, and they don't even cost anything. I'm a cheap date, I don't cost anything. That's enough, I'm a terrible plugger, I can't plug. Anyway, I am here to help you make magical moments on your vacation. I hope this video was informational. Remember, you can follow me on Instagram, at the Magical Miranda 
or follow my Facebook for all updates about Walt Disney World Resort, Magical Moments by Miranda. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay magical, and I will see you all in my next video.